Hi, I'm Dr. Melky. Thank you for considering me as your surgeon for cataract surgery. I'm going to explain a little bit today about what cataracts are and what to expect from cataract surgery and what are the different options you have when you're approaching this important decision in your life. Cataracts are uh, the lens of the eye that becomes cloudy. It's not a new growth in the eye. It's the lens of the eye itself that becomes cloudy and prevents you from seeing well. So unfortunately, the only way to fix that is to remove that lens, that cloudy lens, and replace it with an implant. The implant that we place is like a lens. It's like a contact lens specialized to be placed inside the eye. It's made of plastic. That material is very well accepted by the eye. It's been used for many, many years, and is there for the rest of your lives. It doesn't need to be replaced, and it allows you to see much better because it's a clear lens compared to the cloudy cataract that you had. In the past, we used to wait for the cataract to be ripe. Why? Because we used to remove the cataract all in one piece and replace it with the lens. But in the last two decades, things have changed. Now we break the cataract into small little pieces, suck it out, and then we put a foldable implant that we fold and place inside the eye and it stays there for the rest of your life. So what we tell patients is when you approach cataract surgery, don't necessarily have cataract surgery unless you're having issues, meaning that the cataract is interfering with your daily activities, such as reading, driving, uh, watching TV. So if you feel that these things are becoming difficult for you to do, don't wait. It's better to do the cataract surgery early rather than late because the longer you wait, the harder the cataract and the more difficult the surgery can be. On occasion, you may not be having any issues. We look at your eye and we may recommend cataract surgery because we see that the cataract is getting a little bit harder and that your risk is starting to become higher than than we really want it to be. But in general, we ask you whether you're managing or not. And if you're not managing, that becomes the time to go ahead with cataract surgery. So when comes that time and we make that decision, we have to keep in mind that cataract surgery is the most common surgical procedure done worldwide. It's very, very safe, but it's still surgery. It takes less than 10 minutes to do. We do one eye at a time, but there are risks. What are the risks? Infection, inflammation, swelling in the back of the eye in the retina, uh, detachment of the retina, God forbid losing vision. All these things can happen very unusual. Usually things go very well. So we take the cataract out and put an implant in. That is an opportunity for you to reduce your dependency on glasses because we're putting an implant with a certain power that will take the place of contact lenses or glasses that you wear. So when it comes to what kind of vision are you going to have after cataract surgery, there's no question that your vision will improve if you're having halos or glare or blurry vision. This will improve, no matter what option you go with. But you have an opportunity to reduce your dependency on glasses, meaning without glasses, you can either see distance with both eyes and then wear glasses for reading, usually over-the-counter glasses. Option number two is you read without glasses, but then you need prescription glasses to see distance. That's the option that's the least commonly picked. And the third option is to have one eye for distance and one eye for mid-range, and that's called monovision. It's also a very common option um, that people pick because it gives flexibility, gives you good distance vision, good mid-range vision, and most of the time you need maybe over-the-counter glasses to see small, tiny print. So these are the three options that you have in terms of your vision without glasses. Now, how do we get there? So, again, we have three options to get there. Option number one is traditional cataract surgery. It's covered by insurance. It's an ultrasound. We go in, break the cataract into pieces, take it out, and put an implant in. We make calculations to put the necessary implant in. The chance of getting you the vision that you want without glasses is about 78%. So what you get is what you get. Option number two is a bit more precise because we use a laser or an implant to correct any astigmatism that you have. 
that laser softens the lens, makes it a bit easier to remove, so it's a bit safer. And overall, that option is allowing you to be a bit more accurate in reducing your dependency on glasses. And therefore, uh, uh, it's a, it's a, the downside of that option is really cost. Because the first option is covered by insurance, and that second option is not. And that additional cost uh, gives you mostly the benefit of reducing your dependency on glasses, improving the accuracy of the procedure, and also you have an added benefit of a, of more a safer procedure, less risk. There is a third option where we use a laser with a multifocal implant. That implant allows you to see distance and close up with both eyes. I'm not a big fan of that option because many patients complain of halos around lights at night. So some people come asking for it and we can do it, but you have to be aware of the downside. In terms of recovery, the recovery is usually pretty quick after cataract surgery. The next morning you wake up and you should see pretty well. Of course, some people may recover slower than others. You may have other conditions that make the recovery longer. Um, but in general, the recovery is pretty quick. Some people are able to drive in themselves the next day. Um, what I would recommend after cataract surgery is so be careful with your eyes. We usually do cataract surgery without any drops, so you don't have to worry about eye drops. Uh, unless you're diabetic, we may give you a specific drop to use. And um, uh, But other than that, usually we do it one eye at a time, and we separate the eyes sometimes by one week or longer if needed. Um, so, uh, I think this is an important decision for you. Think carefully about all the options that I discussed, but I'm more than happy to go over them with you when I meet with you in person. And this way we can go over all the details and, and uh, pick what is best for your lifestyle. Thank you again for considering me as your surgeon, and I can't wait to meet you in person and, and go over everything else in detail.